tasting like a boss. I'm just getting down to Rolo level so you can really see his little outfit. Uh, as you probably know, Rolo does not like me that much. He is boss of boss's dog. This is not a broken leg. Don't worry about that. He just sort of bites at himself. He's getting a little bit older, but we love him so much. Rolo Tomasi, and he's dressed like an elf. Very festive because it's November, and everyone knows what November means. November means Christmas. That's, of course, it's Christmas, and, of course, it also means Bones Coffee. So I've done a lot of Bones Coffee reviews. Last year, I tasted all of their holiday flavors, and I've done reviews on each one of them, and I did a summary. And this year, I think, I don't, don't think that it was actually because of me, but I will say that the two flavors I didn't like, they don't have part of the holiday package anymore, so maybe I'm powerful. Doubt it, but eh, I'll keep telling myself that. The two flavors I didn't like last year were the eggnog and the gingerbread man. And I know that some of you like those flavors a lot. I wasn't a fan. I really loved the graphics on the eggnog one. I really wanted it to be good. And for me, it wasn't. Gingerbread Man kind of fell flat too. And those two flavors are not part of the holiday series. Instead, we have Jingle Bones, which is great. We have White Chocolate Peppermint. Again, love it. Oh Fudge, very, very good. And this year's two flavors. We have Sugar Rush. And we have... Nutcracker's Revenge. But today we're dealing with Sugar Rush. So let's talk about the art for it first off. That's why Rolo here is dressed up like a little mischievous elf. It's a really nice little cover. On the side, we have more replication of the art. And on the back, we have a little explanation which says, ready Rolo, it says, sugar cookies are a classic staple of the holiday season and a delicious compliment to your morning cup. So we decided to wrap it all up into one amazing cup of coffee, take a walk on the mischievous side with a cup of sugar rush. Boom, okay, so what are we gonna do? Well, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a three-way review. I have made it in cold brew, having it steep for 24 hours. I'm going to have it in drip. There you go, in the Bones mug. I'm really Bones today. Bones, Bones. By the way, Bones, I doubt they'll ever get the rights to uh, Snoopy. But if you do, that would be awesome. Especially if you could have a root beer flavored one. A root beer coffee, I'm not sure if that'd be good, but it sounds like a good idea. And of course, you always have peppermint patty. Peppermint patty. Just throwing it out there, but we're also having it in espresso. So sugar rush in these three formats. So Rolo, let's do what we normally do and give it a smell before we give it a taste. Okay. Let's see. Do you want to smell it at all? No. Okay. It smells good. It does not smell like sugar cookie. That's okay. It smells sweet. It definitely smells like it's flavored. Uh, but it does not smell like sugar cookie. Kind of smells like coconut. I'm just telling you. All right, so let's get to the tasting. Got the cold brew coffee. Give it a smell just in case. Very little scent to it, which is typical for cold brew. Tasting like a boss. Here we go. very good doesn't taste like sugar cookie I think I'm right unless I have a missed bag <clears throat> I think it's coconut flavored I think coconut flavor must be utilized somewhere in this and that's what's coming across in my tasting I mean tastes like coconut with a little bit of spice it's really good. Doesn't taste like a sugar cookie, but I'm also not let down by it. So if you end up getting it, just know, unless your bag is completely different than mine, it does not taste like sugar cookie. But if you like coconut, you're gonna like this because that's what it tastes like to me is coconut. Mm. It's good though. So moving on, but just you know, it's not very creamy, okay? 
It, it tastes like a, a tea-based coffee, has some coffee flavor because it's coffee and coconut. So that's what I'm saying there. Moving on to the drip. <laughs> you enjoying yourself or hating life? Hating life, I think. All right, got the drip again in the Bones mug. Let me give it a smell. It smells like coffee and coconut. It, that's exactly what it smells like is coffee and coconut. Tasting like a boss. I mean, that's what it is, right? It's a really good cup of coffee is drip. I think I actually like it more than drip than the cold brew. This is a very good cup of coffee. I'm getting the coconut flavor, but not like the coconut rum. Some of the flavors taste like coconut rum. No, this tastes like coconut with like a little hint of spice. This is a cup of coffee you brew. You serve this. People are gonna like, they're gonna ask you what coffee it is because it's gonna taste different and it tastes good. So that's a thumbs up on the drip. So if you're a drip fan, this is a flavor for you. But again, it does not taste like sugar cookie. It does not taste like sugar cookie. It doesn't taste like sugar cookie. All right, here's the espresso. <laughs> that's weird. The espresso tastes, that doesn't taste, smells like sugar cookie. Legit, that smells like a like vanilla sugar cookie. See if it tastes like it. Tasting like a boss. Yeah, don't get it for the espresso. Don't make it an espresso. The initial flavor is very sharp. It doesn't taste like sugar cookie. Tastes like coconut that's gone bad. And it is, it's gotta be coconut guys, right? Bones, hit me up, let me know. Am I right, is it coconut flavor that's in there? Uh, because if it's supposed, if that's part of the flavoring, that's all I'm tasting for whatever reason, so. All right, so, verdict on the sugar rush. No for espresso, it's too, shower, uh, too sour, too sharp, not worth it, don't do it. Cold brew, yes, it's good. It's not my favorite cold brew, but it's a nice little coconut flavor. And on the drip, as far as I'm concerned, that is a big thumbs up right there, okay? Now, for those people who wanna know about my reviews and opinions on the other flavors, well, I'm gonna be doing Nutcracker's Revenge probably tomorrow, and the other three flavors are still in there, I've already done. I'm gonna put reviews down below, as well as my summation video, which did the five flavors from last season. So you can go and check them out if you'd like. Till next time, hit like, hit subscribe, please share. We're getting near 400 uh, subscribers, which I think is amazing. Thank you for the support. And from Rolo Tomasi and Boss, Boss Family, uh, Merry Christmas coming up. And as always, keep tasting like a boss. Thanks so much, guys.